I know nothing about this. Um, we know it's a first-person horror, so Izzet can't play it, and he's been very curious about it. So I am playing it. All of the stories mentioned in the game are fictional. Any resemblance to the biography or appearance of real people, blah, 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 is not real. It's about the Unreal Engine. Step Hair Studio. Step Hair. I have heard how my parents died. My brother and I were sitting in a locked bedroom and could only listen. We heard the knife stabs until their screams stopped. The police decided that our parents were accidentally killed during the robbery. I never believed it. In our neighborhood, no one had any money, especially immigrants like us. After a month in the orphanage, we were picked up by the only remaining relative in the States, a woman named Randolph, mm. a medium, our grandmother. Our mom never talked about her and hid away her letters without opening them. I think that Mrs. Randolph thought that she cared about us. She taught us. I still remember rituals, prayers, and constant promises to reveal what happened to our parents. But later, it was always later. When will we be ready? My brother was the first one to escape. He joined the police force. I left her after. I, like my mother before, did not respond to her letters. They were just another promise to reveal some secret if I came back. When they stopped, I sighed with relief. Finally. A local lawyer visited us shortly after. Hi, Reaper. Grandmother was killed. Stabbed with a knife. They suspect a robbery. The voices of my parents came back. And they are not alone. Our town is eating itself. Death comes for our people. For my friends. And I can't take it anymore. Grandmother was trying to understand what was wrong. She tried to tell us. And I'm starting to believe her. She solved crimes. She helped the police to find the perpetrators. I have to take her place. I have to go back to her house. Which is right here. Go to the table and take the documents. Use left mouth button to interact with items. Oh, it's a little floody. Oh, God. Can I turn on V-Sync? Graphics. V-Sync. Enabled. Apply. Uh, hold on. Frame rate. Yeah, 60. That's fine. Okay. Your brother is a police officer who needs your help. Every day he will send you a new crime case. Your goal is to solve it. You can use divination rituals to uncover new clues. Once you find the culprit, fill out the report and send it to your brother. Solve the test case to convince your brother to accept your help. What? <sighs> Press tab to open or close the case files. <clears throat> Why did you come back? We've been watching this old woman go crazy through all our childhood, and now you want to take her place. What are you doing? Well, fine. Do you want me to help you? Then let's conduct a small test. Make an invocation to the souls of the dead and tell me, oh great seer, which of the neighborhood kids broke my window. I'll send you a description of them, just like the ones the old woman worked with. If you find out who did it, then we'll talk. One of them committed this terrible crime a couple of years ago on December 14th of 1300 in 1902. I live on the first floor in an apartment at 2 Meadow Street and don't even think about deceiving me. I know who did it. I just want to test you out. Objective. Submit the culprit dossier. Send a clue about his location. Zach Horse is trash. Good, diligent boy, but he fell in with bad company. Zachary Mortis. Lives in a workhouse nearby. A very quiet and sullen young man. <clears throat> The school of a single mother. He doesn't go to school, and during the day he works as a janitor in a bar. I appreciate his desire to help his mother, but he is not. This, but this is not the place a child should grow up. This is this is a conniving face right here. The son of the owner of the hairdressing salon, a very quarrelsome boy, Jake Pulson, very active boy. Okay, I don't. Sure. You know, you could probably fix that door. Well, this is more accurate of the amount of light you get from a lighter. 
Go to the next room and find the ritual candle. Press F to light the path of the lighter. <laughs> Barely lights. I have a feeling it wants me to go this way. Zach Morris is trash. What? What is that from, honey? Other divinations, other, other divinations can only work while the ritual candle is lit. Light a candle by using instructions from the book. Hold down the right mouse button to take a closer look. Whisper of the candle, the path to the unknown. Instructions on how to establish and maintain contact with otherworldly allies. They will help you to answer your questions. Candle is necessary for each ritual. Any fortune telling is questions and answers, and the answers can be obtained only when there is one who can give you an answer. You cannot imagine what exactly had to be done to prepare this ritual. All you have to do is light a candle. Candle is a conductor. It provides contact with the spirit world. Rituals only work while the candle is burning. As soon as the contact is established, the light of all candles will change to blue. As soon as the candle goes out, connection will be interrupted and rituals will become impossible. At this moment, all candles will change their, their light from blue to yellow. You can find spare candles next to the candlestick. Remove the extinguished one and light a new one to reestablish the connection. <clears throat> um... Is this just incense? Okay. The doors of all ritual rooms are marked with clues. Find a room with a wall map that is a symbol of a compass. I did find that already. It's over here. So you have a timer after you do it. So it's not a candle that you're lighting, it's incense. But it's saying candle. In order to work with a ritual map, you need to use dowsing rods. Press Q to pull them out. <clears throat> Place the file of one of the subjects on the stand. It's located next to the map. Follow the instructions of the book. Make sure the ritual candle's lit. Put the person's dossier next to the map. Choose the time on the calendar, year, month, date, and hour. Hover divining rods over the map. The closer the rods, the closer the person. The rods will cross in the place where the person was. The rods will spin if the ritual candle has gone out. Place the flag on the right address, which is misspelled, in order to add a clue. Okay, so it was what time? 12. Uh, 14th of December. Uh, the hour is 1300 on 1902. Um, why are there so many bugs crawling all over this place? Um, we're, you, you press Q to pull them out. Place the file of one of the suspects on the stand. What stand? This one? Oh. Where was it at? To Meadow Street. Where's Meadow Street? Up here. So it's not him. It's you. You, you little brat! Who is this? Harrison Hawkins. Uh, wait, am I supposed to find a clue?
You may return to the hallway and follow the report that lies on the table. What's the clue? How am I supposed to find the clue? What is the clue? I don't know what the clue is. <laughs> Where is the clue? What is the foggy clue? Oh, fuck it. Sorry, but you're wrong. Don't worry, let me pick you up. We'll go to a doctor. I failed the tutorial. <laughs> Oh my god, I clicked off the screen. What? Nineteen oh two. What day was it? Fourteenth of December. All right, where were you? Bedford Road, the fifth. Okay. Go up. Go, Patrick Willis. Where were you? Uh, so these are all the clues. Do we have to find out where each one is? Harrison Hawkins. Meadow Street. That's where he was. Harrison Hawkins is Meadow Street. Not innocent. Not the victim. It's the mur- <laughs> They're children! Alright. So what am I supposed to do here now? Dossier. Obviously him. What's the dossier? Submit the culprit dossier. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Her methods are working. Who would have thought? Fucking hell. Clearly these children are murderers. <laughs> I am vanilla bean. <laughs> Who would have thought, well, okay, if you're so anxious to find out what's wrong with our town, let's work on it together. Ah, uh, yes. I look forward to uh, summoning evil spirits that are going to end up like, gift from God. Uh, 
that are that are going to somehow hunt me down and make me into something horrible. Oh yay! Look at all the children that are. Like, <laughs> I was allowed to take part in the preparation for a major court hearing on the outskirts of town at 18 Barnhill Street lies the Fulton Farm, home for a closed and deeply religious family. As it turned out, they were too religious. Early this year, one of them murdered their youngest relative in their home. As a sacrifice, all of the Fultons now cover the murderer. But only one of them made the sacrifice. I don't even know who was in the house. Try using the Dow Singh to find the murderer. Send the killer's dossier. Send his or her distinctive feature by using dowsing rituals on the victim. Send where the killer was during the murder. The time of death is marked in the victim's dossier. Wait. He's the victim. Look at this child. Look at the sweet, innocent eyes. It looks like he was, like, possessed or something. They killed the right one. Well then. Hello, Nathan. My, you're looking quite attractive today. <laughs> Just, oh, you used to be the father of a child, but now you have no more children to, like, take care of? That's fine. You can take care of me. <laughs> He's, uh, uh, <laughs> No, no, she's not a murderer being super pale and looking angry despite her photo. <laughs> Children are murderous little creatures. Luke's mother. Ugh. Yeah. Annabelle Fulton, convinced that she's part of the world's first family of saints. How she came to this conclusion is not clear. Probably drugs. The patriarch of the family. He was first who told us about the ceremony. He compared himself to Abraham. He said that they gave their greatest treasure to God. I noticed that he often averted his eyes during the interrogation. Looks like he's hiding something, like murdering things luke's mother one of those people who can uh, answer any question with a quote from scripture our senior detective thinks that she's very sorry about what happened i'm sorry i stabbed my child is that what she's thinking The camera wobble is going to make Isaac sick. I know that. Yeah, that's why I can't watch it for too long. Welcome back. Can I get rid of it? Agarim, okay. thank you for the resub. Hi. Hello, back to you. Oh, God, Dilly, don't fall in love with a potential murderer. It's fine. It's fine. He's only playing a murderer. He's not really a murderer. I can't... Controls. No. Settings. Camera. Camera sensitivity. Nope. Well then, sound and language, whatever, okay. <sighs> dowsing allows you to find out the features of a killer. Find the room marked with the dowsing rod sign. Is this the dowsing rod sign? This looks like their location. What's the dowsing rod sign I want to see? Oh, that's it. Like it's the victim's case on the stand. I like how doors that swing both ways. Crossing rods will indicate the direction of the object. Put the victim's dossier on the stand. Walk around the house. Crossing the rods will indicate the direction towards the object. Find out which object the rods intersect. Memorize the object and return to this book. This way. In there. Ugh. Doors, why?
fuck? What time is it at? It's at 10.02 or something? Add the killer's features into your clues. Brown. Brown. Murderer has a tattoo. Murderer has a birthmark. Murderer has burns. Dowsing rope. Murderer has scars. What? Item meaning. Clocks. Murderer is 30 years old or older. So he's innocent. Alicia, innocent. Suspect, suspect, okay. Hey, I wanna open it? Whispers indicate that one of the mirrors has been opened. The dowsing rods will point the weird to that mirror. Close it as soon as possible to get rid of the intruder. Intruder? Fucking hell. another object. Uh oh. I mean, that's fine. That's the object, so... Am I supposed to just solve this as quickly as possible? Like a spooky ghost intruder? Apparently. Wait, what? Is it pointing at something on the other side over here? It's that, isn't it? That one picture. Candle, rods are silent, toys, blade, blah. Painting, murderer has a tattoo. It's an incorrect clue. So it's just, just telling me what an incorrect clue is? It's really awkward. Cupboard? Is it painting something on the other side or right here? I don't know. It looks like it's pointing to the cupboard. Uh... I, 
I mean, it's it seems like a cool game for the most part, but I'm like, what is it pointing at? Yes. They point in the direction. Yeah, they're pointing behind you. They're not pointing behind me. They separate out when you're further away from it. They get closer when you're, like, pointing closer to it. I think there's more than one object. Well, that's a painting, unless it's on the other side of it. No, it's, it's the painting. But I already said painting, and it said it has a tattoo, and that's not the case. Yay. Order, in order to find a person to do the following. Maybe I already did it. Maybe it was just the clock and I need to figure out between them where the frick they were. Date of death, January 1st. Why does it say... Oh, 1. 1-8-1904 at 11. I don't know why I did it this way. Fucking bullshit. In here, there it is. I feel like this room was more lit, but I don't know where the extra light is in here. to that. Where's my other... This. Ugh. Just jumped out of your seat, guy. That's where she was. Where were you killed? Eighteen Barnhill. It's Annabelle Fulton. Am I supposed to find more details than that? Where do I send the dossier? Hmm. 
my god, where do I send this? Here? Does she have scars? She's convinced that she's part of the world's first family of saints. Dowsing rods are silent. Murder as a birthmark. Murder as a tattoo. Hair color. Gray. <laughs> We're just making shit up now. Eye color. Green. Oh, it looks like it's her. Okay. Well, how do, how do I fill this out? How do I fucking do this? No. Where? Where did it tell me anything was done? I don't know. Right here? I'm supposed to take this back? Okay. Front door? Oh! Thank you, Farnan. Everybody's been telling you over and over. No. Honey, be quiet. That's mean. Don't be mean to me. Oh, right here. <sighs> Fuck. Two clues. <laughs> the clues. Um... We need another clue. There's a second clue. It has a fedora burned skin with knife hands. <laughs> so there is another clue I need to find. I mean, that's going to just point to the clock. We already know that. Is that just pointing to the clock, then? To what, a painting? Old man's photo looks like CGI. It probably is, to be fair. I mean, that's the clock, again. Alright. Going from the clock, is there anywhere else where it's like... I wish you could, like, sit there and somehow tell the clock you're no longer an object. Stop it. Stop it. Just fucking stop it. You have all the clues? Do I? 
I don't know what the extra clue would end up being. I don't, I mean, the only thing I can think of is, oh, that she was there? Heard something terrible today. I just heard a woman blaming her husband for not being able to kill his own grandson. Annabelle had to do it to f f herself to appease the voice of God. This case gave me an idea about death of our grandmother, so I guess that, okay. Strikes of different people should be different, right? I studied the autopsy results of our grandma and found a couple of oddities. Each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, such a clear pattern is impossible. The direction of the blows also doesn't match up. They are too similar and weird. Knife strikes were aimed at the chest area and the blade was directed not upwards or downwards, but almost perpendicular to the body. Maybe she was killed in her sleep and the whole robbery was staged. If so, then someone was trying to disguise premeditated murder. Who wished her death? I will try to find the last people she spoke to. Smack the clock and say you're irrelevant. <laughs> Are you sure everything is all right? I know that at night you're busy helping me, and during the day you try to open new rooms in the house, but there's a limit to everything. Maybe your hallucinations with mirrors are just a reaction to a lack of sleep. Do me a favor and go to rest as soon as you finish this case. There's so many holes in this house. <laughs> like, how did anyone say, yeah, it's structurally sound, you're allowed to stay there? <laughs> a local school teacher died of a heart attack right in the middle of the church. This case would not interest us if the headmistress of the same school had not died of a heart attack in the exact same hour. Do you want to know about another coincidence? The headmistress corresponded with our old woman for the last several years. Autopsy has shown that they were poisoned an hour before their death. Find out who did it. Send the killer's dossier. Oh my god, Aaron Kel- oh, 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 it's so sad you died. You weren't pretty. Florence Barr. Oh no, you look so innocent. Hello, Tristan. How are you? Maya looking fabulous today. Okay. Send the killer's dossier, mark where the killer was during the poisoning. Spencer Byrne. Unfortunately, he's my neighbor. He was expelled from the local school. He died because he went to the church. <laughs> okay, Molly looking sus to you just by your mugshot alone. Where is she? <laughs> She's all like, I'm a werewolf. <laughs> She's obsessed with her daughter's success. Wow, okay. All right. Fucking hell. Which room is it in? I don't remember. It's not this one. It's right there. Alright. There's two victims, though. Well, that's pretty quick. Dinosaur. It's a green object. Um, toys. The color of the toys shows the color of the murderer's eyes. Murder eye color. Green. Let's put Florence Bar down. would it be? I 
think it's supposed to be the dress. Oh, that's your character. It's like a brown dress. Doesn't quite look like it, but the color of the clothes will tell you the color of the hair. That does work. That was really odd in how it did. Can you get killed in this game? I have no idea, probably. I do not need to put her thing. I need to find out where the killers were. I feel like those two were enough. Uh, I gotta go light another incense candle. I don't remember my way around this house yet. There you go. Get back on there. brown hair and what color eyes it was brown hair green eyes you have green eyes you have green eyes you ha okay so it's one of these two it's either tristian or diana kelly tristian you better not be it you're marginally handsome and i'm upset if you are Oh wait, we probably need to set the time. That would probably help. Um, it said an hour earlier, so shouldn't we find out where they're located at 12? So 128-1904. Oh. I fucked that up. <laughs> Because it said, what time did they die? 1300. 1300. 12. What date? 1904. Alright, where are you at? 12 o'clock. Uh, where, where did you guys die? I don't know. Mark where the killer was during the poisoning. It happened one hour before the murder. Perpetrator and the victim had to be in the same place. Oh, that's true. So where were you? Oh, no. Oh, no, Tristan, why? <laughs> Definitely wasn't Diana. Oh no, Tristan, why did you betray me? <laughs> I love age is dead. <laughs> I mean, sounds accurate. Clue. Um, killer's green ear, brown eyes. Pizza. Oh, I can't use that right now. But thank you. Mr. Connor told the investigator about how the school treated his son. The teachers did their best to make him quit the school. This Irish boy should know his place. Another nonsense you'll hear in old families. It all ended with the teacher persuading other children to beat him up. It worked too well, and now this boy will not be able to walk. Mr. Knurk said that his son's future was taken away from him, and he couldn't bear it. I won't say that I condone his decision, but I understand him. The connection with our old woman turned out to be a dead end. Turns out that she was in an active correspondence with... Not only with the head mistress, mistress, but with several professors throughout the country. They discussed some scientific issues. I will study her letters and report the results later. Does that mean I succeeded or I failed? Why, Tristan? Attractive people can do no wrong. We'll help him break out of jail. With spirits help. Spirit. Not spirits. Spirit. Aaron Sharp's dead with one suspect, probably Colin. <laughs> An 
old policeman asked for help. He used to work with our grandma, but stopped after the police cut all ties with her. If we help him, he tells us, can you imagine this going to court and saying, we have determined that you're not guilty. Wait, why? Everything points to him. Well, that man talks to a crystal ball and he said he's innocent. So, okie dokie. <laughs> the case itself is solved. Mr. Bones, a sailor dismissed from the Navy, quarreled with his new employer over money and killed him during the scuffle. No, it can't be Colin. <laughs> he threw the body into the basement of some abandoned house. Bones' confession is already on my desk. The problem is that the murder took place at night and Bones was drank. <laughs> so he has absolutely no memory in which the cellar the body lies. It must be really hard being drank. Um, the relatives of the murdered man asked to find the body for a burial. Determine the hour of death and find where the victim and Mr. Bones were at the time of the murder. If you succeed, this cop will tell us something new about our old woman. Our old woman. Are we calling our grandma the old, our old woman over and over? Is that what we've determined? The Wheel of Thanatos will help you find out the exact time of death. It's located on the first floor. Wheel of Morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Oh, I'm betting this is. In order to determine the hour, day, and month of death, do the following. Make sure the ritual candle's lit. Put the victim dossier on the stand. Boop. Determine the zodiac sign of the victim by using the table on the next page. Oh my fucking god. When are you born? July 7 11. Uh, July 7th. So he's a cancer? He's a cancer and he's a water sign? Turn the wheel of Thanatos to the black arrow points to the zodiac sign of the person. What does not cancer look like? Okay. Wait. Wait. Isn't that the crab? Why does that not even match up with anything that they have in here? Seven Eleven. <clears throat> Identify the key letter of the first name. It depends on the element as described on the next page. Water. Open the Chaldean table on the next page. Determine the key number for key letter of the name. What? If the surname, the key letter of the first name, if the surname has identical letters, then the key letter of the surname is the last one. If not, then it's the first one. Stop it. So it's N? So it's five, right? Open the Chaldean table on the next page. Determine the key number for key letter of the name. I think I already did that. It's N in the wrong room. Follow the instructions of the book, shut up. I don't know how to walk through this house anymore. You still on? Yes, you're fine. Stupid. 
Stop breaking shit. There's only so many things in this house. Okay, determine the key number for the key letter. Hold on, so it's an N, so it's, what was it again? It was six, I said? No, it's not six, it's an N. N. It's five. Wait. If the surname has identical num letters, it doesn't. Then the key letter of the surname is the last one. If not, it's the first one, so it's S. I had it wrong. It's three. <sighs> Turn the wheel of Thanatos so the red arrow points to the key number of the name. Red arrow. Three. Identify the key letter of the last name. So wait, so you're basically saying based upon you, like your birth, you can determine your exact time of death. It's just... <laughs> Wait, but it also depends on what your parents named you? Fuck mom and dad, they determine your death. <laughs> Identify the key letter of the last name. It depends on the element. Stop breathing. Open the Chaldean table on the next page. Determine the key number of the surname. Wait. Identify the key letter of the first. I have it wrong. The key letter of the first name is the last letter of the name. N. Fucking hell. It's five. Alright, the last time. If the surname has identical letters, oh, then that's a three. Okay. Forever stuck in load three. Fine, I'll go back in. Honestly, the zodiac page is pissing me off. I haven't I have a piece of pepperoni from no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Someone clip that. Why? <laughs> Is that grandma coming through the mirror? So grandma comes back and she's like, what you doing taking over my business? <laughs> I think the game is broken right now. I'm just saying, I told it to go back to the menu and this is what happened. Hold on, I force closed it. Working disagreements with Granny. I hate this wheel. I'm just pointing that out. I hate this stupid wheel. Wait, it's over here. Zodiac sign. What was your sign? July 7th, 11, 1860. They changed it. 7-11. No, 
No, they didn't. He's still a cancer. Identify the key letter of the first name. He's water. La last letter of the name, which is N, which is five. And that's the red arrow. And then what? This is three. Why are we in this business again? Grandma, no listen. <laughs> Um, don't forget about the moon. So I haven't gotten to that. The moon icon means that the death happened in the morning. Or the, okay, the, the it happens in the evening. So you need to add 12 to the hour of the wheel. Turn the wheel of Thanatos so that the blue arrow points to the key number of the surname. Which should it be three, right? Surname. The last letter of the surname is the last one, yeah. Oh, it's not three, it's uh, it's five. Wait, shit. No, it's, it's the first letter. Ah, fucking up, S. It is three. So it happened in the evening. The moon icon shows that it happened in the evening, so you need to add 12 to the hour of the wheel. Grandma. Why do we even have these around the house? Why did we just break these and throw them in the front yard? She came back to tell you who did it. <laughs> How am I adding 12 hours to the wheel? So our... So did it happen at midnight? On the second day... Month is one. Two, and then hour is 12. 24, right? Hold on. Just can't remember how to get to anything. Grandma. Better fucking stop your shit. I knew you were going to come through there. What do we say? January 2nd, 1904. Stop it. What are we supposed to be finding out? Determine the location of the victim. The hour of death. Determine the location of the suspect at the hour of death. That's it. Didn't that be it? We checked the place you indicated and found the body, so our new friend agreed to tell us about his work with our grandma. Previously, she was often approached by local officers, and she helped them without any charge. It all ended because of the last case. She's found for them one particularly brutal gang, but they were released because of the personal order of Judge Brooks. The next day, all 12 criminals shot themselves. They say that the last of them was muttering something before his death. It was something about the voice of God calling them from beyond. The police didn't work with our old woman after that. Okay. 
I'm not playing this regularly. Why? Because it's horrible all all at once. A bear! Whoa! Two bears! Whoa! Three! Whoa! whoa. Four! The whole city knows about this case in 1882. Smugglers on a run from the rangers hid in a house on the outskirts of town at first South Wave Road and killed local shepherd and his family. The case was closed many years ago. Now part of that gang has decided to move back to our town. I've already found them and I know that almost all members of the gang are involved in that case. I don't need your help to find the guilty and the opposite. Send me the names of those who are not in that house in 1882 in the day of the murder. They will go to jail. The rest of them will meet the gallows. Isn't that just basically one thing to do? Because we don't know the time. So we have to get the time again. God fucking damn it. 529, May 29th. May 29th, he's a Gemini heir. What does a fucking Gemini look like again? Twins. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see the symbols there. I don't know how I missed those before. And then we need... The red arrow. So the first letter of the name. Zachary. Z. Which is seven. And that is a what? Red arrow. And then blue arrow is for the last name. What was he? Air? There's more than five letters in the surname. Which there is. Then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. I. Which is a one. Which one is that? That's the blue one. So it was on November. Uh, 20th at 10. Ow. Ow. It's 1882. I don't have any visitors. That's not it either. Twinks need attention to, you know. <laughs> uh, everyone needs attention, honestly, when it comes down to it. We want to go to that end. But, whoa, a bear! <laughs> Is it Dexter? I don't know. I think I forgot to move one of the wheels. I did, didn't I? It was the, this, the blue arrow I did. Grandma's coming. Grandma! I don't know what I'm doing! It says she's this way. Oh. She got tired.
I have to check my fucking work. May 5th. He's a Taurus. I got everything wrong. He's a goddamn Taurus. I got everything wrong. I got everything wrong. He's not even a Gemini. He's a fucking Taurus. I suck at this. This is why I shouldn't be doing this kind of shit. Stop closing the doors. I need it open. Grandma. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Taurus. No, he's 529. He's not a Taurus. No, he's a Gemini. I got that right. Okay. It's Gemini. And then it's red. First letter of the name. Z. Which is, as we've determined, a seven. Which is the red arrow. It's on seven. Identify the key letter of the last name. It depends on the element. So, air... Oh, wait a minute. First letter... I did it wrong. It's not first letter. Fire sign. It's air sign. Third letter of the name, or the first if the name has less than three letters. So it's third letter. C. Fuck. Three. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Fucking hell. God damn it. If there are more than five letters... Okay, so that's probably it. So it's, um... Shut up! Five. Second day. At ten. The key letter of the surname is the fifth one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. It's I, isn't it? I is what? One. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Month. 1120. I heard you. What am I getting wrong with this? You'd love to see you do more horror games. This has been a great experience. <laughs> My God. I'm going to be trying to do them more often. We were doing them for a while, and then I was taking a break from them doing other things. I do have a Fatal Frame still, which I am very curious about. Is it 1882? I thought we already did this on November 20th, 1882. 10. May 29th, Gemini, yes. Air. Third letter. If there are more than five letters in the surname, then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. I could have swear this is it. Why is this incorrect? I don't understand. You love horror, but you hate horror because you always end up hurting yourself during a jump scare. Seriously. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Date of death, 1882. Five twenty-nine. What am I getting wrong? Turn the wheel of Thanatos so that the red arrow points to the key number of the name. That's for the The third letter of the name, or the first if the name has less than three letters. 
see. I'm aware that that's not working. I'm aware that I'm taking the long way around. Grandma's not coming, that's why I have the dousing rods out, so it tells me the moment she's stepping out of a mirror. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. So I have it pointing to Gemini. Turn the Wheel of Thanatos so that the black arrow points to the zodiac sign of the person, which I did. Gemini. Right there. Alright. Identify the key letter of the first name. It depends on the element is described on the next page. I did. Air. Third letter of the name, which is C, which is three. That's not on three. Red arrow. What? Red arrow points to the key num- Fuck! Grandma's coming. My husband made me play this. And I'm not feeling very endeared towards him anymore. No. Don't even try. I'm angry because I'm spending forever trying to figure out his fucking birthday! <laughs> Red Arrow! Isn't that to see? So it should be on three! It's on three now, sort of! There, it's on three. It's close enough. All right, blue arrow. It's supposed to be on the last one. More than five, it's the fifth letter, which was what? The I? It's the I, which is a one. All right, so it's 11, 20, fucking four. I hate everything about this. Why am I taking this job? Well, like, I should just pick up where Grandma left off. What idiot does this kind of shit? <laughs> it's just everything is just wrong with life. <laughs> just... The spirits are just sitting there and just going, oh my fucking god, he's an idiot. <laughs> 11-20-1882. No. It's closer to my birthday. At what time was it? At 1600. And we need to see where he is located. Because we need to find people that are not associated with him. This is just dead. Alright. Edward Gallagher. The least of the bearers. Jamie Webb. <gasps> Jackson Burns. You're kind of bearish. He wasn't there. Hey, hey! God fucking damn it. Stop having gross sounds. Yeah, Grandma's coming. Where is he?
fucking kidding me? Oh, he was out of town. All right, so Jackson Burns is one. Oh, be yeah, be someone else is out of town. Oh man. We like went after that noise. Julio Perez. Are you out of town? He was also. Okay, so it's Julio and. Alright. It was you and you. You were gonna resub, but PayPal isn't being cooperative. I'm sorry, and it, it's appreciated the thought. PayPal not being cooperative. I know that feeling. Well done. We'll visit them tonight. Still strange that many come back here after so many years to take the risk of being executed. They are not the only ones, though. We've already arrested several wanted criminals who suddenly just showed up in our town. The new judge is tired of signing death sentences. It seems to me that we began to attract all kinds of madmen. Okay. Party killer. I think I need a break from this. Why do you make Only me creepy? I've been playing it for 20 minutes. That sounds pretty damn good considering the number of times I've screamed. Come on. Stop being a baby. I'm hungry and I want to eat. Just one more. <clears throat> Fine. Couldn't understand all of these terms and formulas from her letters, so I asked a local professor for help. It turns out that in his youth, he studied with our old woman at the university. She had a science degree, who would have thought? Unfortunately, this gentleman's family suffered a tragedy. His granddaughter was killed. She and her fellow students threw a three-day party at 6 Barnhill Street, and after walking away from the hangover, they found her already cold body. The murder took place in October 1904, but we do not know the exact day. Oh boy, I love that wheel. It's my favorite. We saw that our grandmother was able to establish a connection between the killer and the victim using tarot cards. If you repeat this ritual and find the killer, the professor will help us with letters. Send the killer's dossier. Mark and send where he was at the hour of the murder. Send the result of the victim's tarot reading. Where the fuck is the tarot reading? I don't know where the tarot reading goes. Oh, the tarot reading, tarot reading upstairs. I love having more doors to go through. Oh my god, this tarot card reading will help find out the connection between the victim and the killer. Make sure that the ritual candles lit. Put the victim dossier on the stand. Shuffle the deck until its images shine with light. Start opening the cards one by one. Watch out for the death card. If you see it, do not open further. I'm gonna open further. What? Oh. I'm gonna open up more death cards. Yes! No, more. It's justice. Power. I don't know what these mean. No. It's just horrors. It's grandma's fucking with us is what she's doing. Alright. So this is the hermit. The hermit means what? The deceased did not know the killer. The fool. Where's the fool? Wait, the deceased did not know the killer. There it is, that one. How dare you? That's literally what I just pulled! 
cards are silent. The bond is unknown. Oh, it's because I had the wrong one. All right. Justice. The divination has begun. The following card will tell you about the killer. The tower. The murderer is part of the family. Grandma's out. Somewhere this way. Stop it. Uh, what was it? The tower? What was the tower? The victim? What? Murderer is part of the family. Okay, I'm, no. no. <laughs> He's so happy for being dead. Um. Okay. Keep opening cards until you draw the justice. Open and memorize one final card after that. Find out the meaning of the card and mark the connection between the victim and the killer on the nearby list. Oh, I already did that. Okay, that was pretty easy. Guess we gotta go downstairs now. There's a mirror there. There's a mirror over in the corner. There's just mirrors everywhere. Grandma's just gonna come out everywhere. She's all like, ah, oh, yes, you wanted to do this, didn't you? I'm gonna come and fuck your shit up. Stop breaking things! Spooked me. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Grandma. I don't even remember where that room is anymore. Somewhere this way. No. No. What? My doctor told me I'm going deaf. The news was hard for you to hear. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it, Shola. <laughs> um. Send the kill. Mark and send where he was at the hour of the murder. So we need to find out where she was. God fucking damn it. You know what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to use the goddamn wheel again. It, I swear, if it's all like... Here. Is it pointing at a candle? Rods are silent. All right. I clicked off of it. Where's the wheel? Wheel of morality. How do I turn off that stupid thing? I think I snuff out the candle. Is that just a loud noise for no reason? All right. What are you? 924. Grandma. No. Stop it, I saw you coming out. <laughs> she tried. She tried pretty damn fast, actually. Um, what was it? 
924. So she's a Libra. Where's Libra? Right there. Uh, uh. Libra is also air. Third letter of the name or the first if the name is less than three letters. Third letter, a B. Two. That's which one? The red. Um, blue arrow is a what? Libra was air? Oh, I thought that were things. There are more than five letters in the surname. There are not. Uh, if not, it's the last one. N. Five. So it is October 5th at 1400, uh, 1880, 1904. There. Did you seriously blow out all my candles again? Now we're about to lose our light again. Hi. Grandma, you need a better hat. She's all like, I'm trying to tell you something. I'm like, really? What? Just... I did this better than you. <laughs> Alright, so it's, um... Get rid of that. 10 5 What was it I needed to find out exactly? God damn it, Grandma. Mark and send where he was at the hour. Send the killer's dossier. Mark and send. So it's Alan, isn't it? Send the result of the victims. To... No, the kills. The killer is a member of the family. So. She's at Barnhill Strength. I think it's Selena Dean? Selena Dean. Clue. Murder is part of the family. Put a little pressure on her during the interrogation, she began to sing. I thought that she did it out of jealousy, but there was something else. Only during the interrogation, she mentioned where she heard about the betrayal of her groom and her sister. In a dream. This professor lost his second granddaughter. I personally came to arrest her, and yet he kept his word. During her university years, our grandma came up with an insane theory of what she called consciousness transmission. 
It's the assumption that thoughts and feelings live in some kind of invisible field that can affect people. Judging by her last letters in recent years, she has come to the conclusion that even the thoughts of deceased people can emit these residual waves. If I didn't know that your fortune-telling works, I would consider these records to be absolute nonsense. Maybe the professor's granddaughter heard something from beyond. There was a shadow. I don't I don't want to deal with the shadow. It's about street justice. Look at all these people. Where do you think they get like are these all just CG pictures of people? He just looks like he smells something bad. Like just <laughs> How many of them are actually the developers? I don't even know how many people develop this. Anyways, I'm allowed to have to, to be off of this now. Because I went further. This game is giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> we will look at possibly playing it again, but I do have other horrors, too. This is... It's not bad. The tarot card reading and everything else, I understand why it's convoluted. It's intended to make you have to spend time looking at it when other things can end up happening. So, it's... It, like... It was infuriating me how it works, but once I realized what they were doing, I was like, okay, I get I get what they were doing. Um, because you're, yeah, anyways. So, it's still pretty good, and I do appreciate what they ended up putting together. In the meantime, we're going to send you guys off. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a wonderful time. Um, why don't you show some love to, oh my goodness, Grishard is streaming. He's playing the raft. Have a wonderful time. Go and show him some love. Thank you for being here. Goodbye.